Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video we will talk about the use and custom button action um, checkbox in the push object settings. Let's head over to a push, so Salesforce integration, set the push, and we have a push ready for you. It's just pushing a simple contact with three fields, uh, first name, last name, and email. And what we want to show is the use and custom button action. So usually actions run whenever you submit your form but what if we want to trigger this push whenever we do an action or we click a different button not necessarily a submit button so let's try this in two ways so first of all I'm going to add a button that will be a custom Salesforce action it already comes by default like that so this is a Salesforce action button and then you can select whatever you want to run, whatever custom um, pushes you have, you can select. So in this instance, we're just going to do the push in contact. Let's change the label of the field. We'll say custom action button and let's save our form, publish this. And let's fill in some information. And I'll click the custom action button. And you see that it just saves and it brings you back to the form. It doesn't submit and refreshes the form. That's one. And the other option is to do, for example, you can set a condition. And we'll say last name is not empty. And let's cancel support opposite and force execution and we'll click to configure the result and then we can say Salesforce action and we can add whatever actions we want. So I added my action and I'll hit apply. So now whenever I fill up my last name and leave the scope, I will run my action and save the and save the contacts. We can see it here if we'll head over to the integration logs, you can see that our account was created. And this is how it's done.